one two pitch is followed back to the screen. Now Truen back on the rubber. Gets the sign from Gomez and delivers a one two. Hit pretty well towards center. Going back to the wall and not able to make the catch as it goes off of the wall. Is Jace McLean rounding second, going to third. Is Johnson. He'll stand up there with a leadoff triple here in any number six. It sounded good off the bat and it ended up good for the Jackrabbits. Newt Johnson does have 28 RBIs on the season. The 1 1 hit high in the air to center field. Should be deep enough for a tag. McLean. Makes the catch and will fire home. The ball coming in. One hops into Gomez, and that's not going to be good enough. Matt Johnson slides in safely. Newt Johnson with the sacrifice fly. Doubles the Jack Rabbit lead. They now lead two to nothing. The one two. Swung on and a liner fair down the left field line. Going to go into the corner. Picked up there by Bush. He bobbles it. That's going to allow a run to score. Shero all the way around from first. He'll score the second run of the inning. And Koonsman in that number nine spot coming up big here in the regular season finale for the Jacks. The playoff spot on the line. He's got a couple of RBIs. Both hit with two outs in an inning. And gets ahead 0-1-1. So far has gotten Colson two out of three times. The 0-1. Hit well towards left center. Coming over to try and make the catch is Bush. He won't get there. It one hops the fence. And in comes Koonsman from second. Colsey will check into second base with an RBI double. Three straight, two out hits for the Jackrabbits. And they now lead it four to nothing. Uh, the 2 1. Down low and inside. Now three balls in one strength. Fromm has walked one here today. In the season, he has walked 33 in 63 innings. He's about to walk every two, but only one walk here in the six. And now he'll walk Bush, though, his second base on balls of the day. Peterson so far today has grounded out sharply to Shero at short and grounded out to Newt Johnson at the third base bay. Outfield shading Peterson towards left center and the left field line. He hits one over there towards left center. It will land for a single. Coming around third is Bush. He will score the first run of the game. The throw comes into second. And Fearing will take third. An RBI single for Peterson gives him 32 on the game or on the season and gets the Bison on the scoreboard here today. They now trail four to one. The old one hit out towards center. No one there. And Bush has himself on with a Lead-off single here in the eighth. He's now reached base all three times today. Once on an error, but he still did reach base. And then in the sixth, got himself on with a walk. Now a single here in the eighth. We'll flip things over to the top of the lineup now. Drew Fearing will come up for NDSU. Fearing a leadoff better coming into the day, batting 323. It's now at 325. That average taken on dip a little bit over the last couple of weeks. Been inconsistent batter for NDSU. So far today, he is one for two with a walk. First pitch was a strike, the 0 1. Hit out towards left field and back to back hits. This one's going to land in left center field. The miss by the left fielder. Bush on his way to 30 is being laved around. He'll come in to score, and Drew Fearing. Stands on second, an RBI hit that puts the Bison down just two. Back-to-back -back solid hits here by NDSU to start the eight, and they've got something cooking, trying to come back and steal this one from the Jackrabbits. The one-two, fouled back to the screen. Peterson stays alive. They're hoping to keep their season alive and be going to Tulsa, Oklahoma next week. Where the Summit League tournament will be held. Winner here moves on to that tournament. Loser goes home. Right now, the Jackrabbits have the two-run lead. They'll be facing Oral Roberts. Another 1-2 from Halber to Peterson. Swung on hit well out to left field. That one's back, and we have a tie ball game. Ben Peterson with his fourth home run of the season has tied the game up. He's now driven in three runs today, and it's all square and
Got one hanging from Halber, and Peterson did not miss it. Got all of it over the Hornbacher's side and left. Longest outing of the season. The 2-1 on the way. Hit out towards right field. That's me down for a hit. It will score Colson from second. The Jackrabbits have retaken the lead here in the ninth. They respond from the Bison. Three run eight with a run of their own in the ninth. And now lead 5-4. Matt Johnson's first RBI of the day is 48th of the season. Which leads the team in that category and extends that lead by one more. On the play, Ringhopper moves from first over to third. One, two, the count. Terrace sets and delivers the one, two. Swung on and poked out towards right, and it will land in front of Peterson and right. One run scores. The throw coming in. Tagged out, but the ball loose from Gomez. Tries to retag him and safe at the plate is Matt Johnson, a two-run, two RBI single here with two outs in the inning by Newt Johnson, and the Jackrabbits have retaken a three-run lead. And the Bison down to their last strike. Deuces wild on the scoreboard here in the ninth. Two balls, two strikes, two out in the inning. Gomez on first. The Jackrabbits trying to secure a spot in the tournament. The 2-2, swung on, hit out towards left field, but hangs up in the air. Jacobson under it and makes the catch. The Jackrabbits win this game. They will be going to the Summit League Tournament.